everybody. So, <clears throat> I contemplated a lot about what video and what I exactly I wanted to talk about today. Um, there has been a lot, a lot happening in the last two weeks that if I sit here and sum it up, I'd say it's absolutely been insane, crazy, a train wreck. Um, all of those things, I genuinely feel like I have to sit here and be very transparent very honest with you guys i have just been in a roller coaster my head my thoughts my feelings my every thing that i wanted to do at first um brought me back to the old me by what i say the old me it took a lot for me to not jump back and just start my video screaming at the top of my lungs it took a lot for me to hold back and not run to my tiktok live my instagram and just start with the negativity start with the whole conversation that i know you guys are probably tired of i know you guys are probably expecting a tea video a lot of tea a lot of receipts a lot of this and that but honestly quite frankly today um this video is going to be shedding light more so on the main source of the problem so i know you guys have already seen my two videos i've posted you guys have already seen my opinions my experience my feelings thoughts everything around that other situation with the other parties involved um, and before I get into my video, as in continuing to discuss and disclose every little information that I want to give today in my video, I'm going to start my video off with a prayer because God has given me a lot of strength to sit here today with you guys and really align my priorities straight and not be a messy, you know, I was going to say a app. A-S-S-B-I-C-T-H, but I just don't feel comfortable with using um, God's name in vain, of course, in the same sentence, even though um, that's really what I wanted to say. I'm going to say my prayer, and then I'm going to finish speaking. Dear Lord, bless today, bless tomorrow. Thank you for everything you give us. Thank you for this wonderful day. I pray for everyone in the world. I pray for anyone going through the same things I am, or worse. I pray that you remind them and heal them, Lord. And again, I just thank you for everything that you do. I pray for this insane world that we live in. And I pray for everyone. And I just pray that you protect everyone and keep everyone's family safe. And again, I thank you for everything, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, you guys. So I want to start most of my videos off with prayer, if not every single one of them, um, of course. Because God is so great in you. I feel like everyone needs to be reminded that God is the source of everything if you're feeling out of your body if you're feeling out of anything any of that source god will ground you so that's what i've been literally that's what's been keeping me sane but you know every side has a story this is my story this is exactly the truth i'm telling the story as it is i'm putting in no lies i'm putting in receipts i'm putting in everything that it is to be dealing with a narcissist so like i said and like i've told you guys i really wanted to shed light on the main source of the problem and getting to the main source of the problem and really focusing on my priorities as i've been telling you guys it's focusing on the main source of the fucking problem you know what i'm saying so Yes, yes, I have went off up and down in private text on social media um, to you know who. That is on hold because I have yet to receive any response. I have yet to receive any response like a coward. Um, and I'm going to leave that situation at that. So for what I'm saying, that is on hold because that is a whole nother conversation. Is that the only party that I'm upset with? Is that the only party that I'm uh, attacking, coming for? 
is a better word? No. That's not the only party that I'm coming for. Is it another source of the problem? Of course. So, of course, me being me, every party that is at fault, I will come for. Leaving that where it is. Because there's nothing else to say. I'm not going to sit here and drag another video. I said what I said in my other two videos. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then I'm not going to repeat myself. You guys have seen. You guys have heard my whole thoughts. The whole nine yards. And I'm going to leave it at that. What I am going to come forward today and speak about is something that I've been telling you guys is the main source of the fucking problem. And that is nothing more then our fellow dandy narcissist cheating lying manipulative dog ass liar laura nachum did i do a good introduction because i think that that is literally the least that i could sit here and discuss and give an, an, an introduction for so laura nachum you know i like i told you guys I, in the last 24 hours, have gone to a very dark place. And when I say dark place, I had nothing nice to say. I wanted to the hell with every receipt and the hell with every post on every social media platform that I've, that I've ever had in my life. Um, I wanted to come on here and I wanted to do the absolute worst to the mother of my child, as in blast on social media I just went to a very dark place that I've been at for the last two weeks. And just recently when I started, you know, getting things off of my chest in my last two videos. And especially in the last third video where I was telling you guys that I was stepping away from the drama. I wouldn't even call this topic drama. I would call it more as so the reality. I have come to conclusions with the reality. I know exactly what every reality is. I will no longer be brainwashed. And I will no longer be manipulated to fall into the same trap, the same cycle, the same relationship that I've been, you know, dealing with. Um, I am a victim. I am a victim. I've been abusing you for the last three years. And shedding light to that, I have to sit here and, like I say, address and bring light to the problem. So I don't want anyone to think that I'm not addressing or handling Laura. Because I most definitely am. I have been for the last three weeks. And all of this could have been put to bed. Put to rest. But as you guys know, Laura likes to be a narcissist. She likes to not take accountability and not take um, full responsibility and accountability for her actions. So therefore, continuing to pick and poke me. Continuing to antagonize me. Continuing to instigate certain situations. This is why I'm laying everything on the table today, the day after, and the day after, no matter what day, no matter what conversation, my feelings, my thoughts, my response will be the same. So with that being said, because most likely you will watch my video, someone will show it to you, whatever the case may be. And I want you to know, as tired as people are tired also of hearing the bickering, the issues between you and I, Laura, I am also fed the fuck up. I'm fed up. And just because I'm not coming on here screaming at the top of my lungs, doing this, that, and the third like I've been doing for the last three years, this should give you an idea and a sense that this is more serious. This is me backing away from what we once had and absolutely leaving it to God. I will no longer do the back and forth with you. Absolutely not. You are, in Spanish, se dice egoista. Your ego is through the roof that even if I ever wanted to sit and have a genuine, real conversation with you, It'll never happen. Like I told you guys and like I told this woman, she will never take accountability for anything that she has to do with her actions. She'll just sit here and act like she's so perfect and that one is tripping 
or doing too much. And as a woman, you guys, and as someone who's probably gone through abuse, emotional abuse, and when I say abuse, I'm saying emotional abuse in a relationship, like taking advantage of your feelings, taking advantage of your character, de deflammation of character. I've never been abused, touched any way like that. So God bless to anyone who has. That's not what I'm saying in my video. What I'm stating is the amount of emotional abuse, the amount of advantage and um, uh, misunderstanding and everything that I've ever hold on to you and everything that I've ever given you has completely been misused, has completely been abused, has completely been thrown out the window because I promise you, me, I, excuse me, I will never give you that treatment ever again. I will never, ever sit here and embarrass myself like this again. I will never, ever go through the same situation that I have with you for the last three years ever again. And me sitting here saying this so calmly, having a conversation as one should, should worry you more than I am so fucking serious. I am so serious to the point that you guys have no idea. The fact that I could have came on here and did the same old ass fucking rant and the same losing my head, going crazy like a chicken with no head, coming on here screaming at everybody, giving you guys the, the negative, awful energy that, that's projected through the screen, putting that sort of toxins out, even though I'm receiving it. I'm receiving the worst. I'm getting the worst. I'm dealing with the narcissist. I'm dealing with the worst. I had my moment to myself. I had my moment on the phone because I definitely caught up a bitch and cursed the bitch to fuck out. Best believe that. But did I take it to where I needed to publish it? Did I take it to where I needed to write a novel and sit here and tell you the all fucking 12 chapters? No. So if you ask me, I'm moving in the right direction. And just because I'm making this video and I'm stating the facts, which is one, I love everyone who supports me. I love everyone who's reminding me to be a strong woman, to stand up for women, because this is exactly what this video is about. It's shedding light on the problem, standing up for women, using my voice, to speak positivity and remind everyone that if you're going through the same thing I am, you are not alone. You are not alone. And even if it feels like your world is crashing down on you, you feel like you're just doing everything as a mother alone. You just feel like everything that you once thought your whole fairy tale is going down the drain. Let it go down the fucking drain because I promise you, if you stay in your cycle, if you stay thinking about the other person, if you keep putting their feelings first, if you keep disrespecting yourself, if you keep not loving yourself, nothing will ever go in your favor. Your heart will keep on putting a bandage over itself until one day it pops and bursts and in reality, you're going to be left wasting time with a shattered, more than shattered heart and as you can see the picture I'm trying to paint to you, it's nothing. It's not worth it. It's nothing. As much love as you have for them, if they loved you the same way that they claim they do, they would never put you in the same situation. They would never hurt you, mistreat you, abuse you. They would never do that. So it's to sit and think about. And I definitely have. I definitely have. So... Of course, you already know, because one thing I won't stop being is a shady bitch. <laughs> and, you know, I'm really holding back on my video today. I could have came on here because the shady bitchness is in me. You know what I'm saying? Like, the amount of disrespect that I received and the way that I reciprocate it now. Recip reciprocate. Basically, giving the same energy back. The way that I handle these things now... It's, it's really funny. Like, I, I can sit here and scream and turn up and do this and do that, but I'm choosing better. God has great things in store for me. So, I'm just going to address these few receipts that I have. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to speak on it. And you guys be the judge of whatever story, whatever 
opinions you guys want to have. All I do, as the shady bitch herself does, speak the truth, give you the receipts, give you the so-called tea if that's what you want to call it. Like I told you guys in my video today, I am just addressing the main fucking source. And we all know what that is. We all know who that is because Lord knows, Lord knows, Laura Najum cannot stay loyal to save her life. We all know Laura Najum cannot be a wife to save her life. We all know Laura Najum cannot be a good human to save her life. Laura Najum cares about one thing and one thing only. So therefore, Laura Najum, I suggest you stop sending me messages. I suggest you stop coming for me and trying to save your family because your family is long gone. Out the window, done for, done with your shit, not waiting for you, not giving opportunities. It's a fucking wrap. It's a wrap. And like I said, you should be very worried that I'm not sitting here screaming, bitching at you through the screen because that's what a woman who cares does. Who cares? And I'm not doing that. So, bitch, does it look like I care? No, I don't. I can assure you, the fuck I don't. So, you guys, let me read you a few things. No, I just want, this is Laura, by the way, and I'm going to put the messages on the little side of my video no i just want to get back with you i don't ever mean to do nothing to make you mad you feel me i'm just chilling i don't understand why you broke up our perfect family all because you want to be insecure now reading that first message you guys can see why i absolutely lost all of my brain cells last fucking night okay so you see, and here we go, like, I'm not even going to hold back. Whatever emotion I give you guys is what I'm going to do. Like, fuck what the fuck I was talking about in the beginning of my video. Because at this point, I'm going to choose to love myself over to lose myself to a fucking moron. How can one say that I broke up our family? Was I the one out cheating? No. Was I the one out not worrying, taking care of our newborn? No. Was I the one out not putting our family first? No. So therefore, you dumb bitch, watch your mouth when you speak. Because the things that come out of your mouth are so stupid that I wonder how you have a fucking brain or any brain cells. She claims that I broke up our family which you guys are my freaking witness witness i have gave everything to have the perfect family that's one cause me insecure with all due respect and this is just my confidence level and the way that i carry myself do you guys see how the fuck I look? Do you guys see what a queen I am? Do you guys see how good of an amazing wife, mother? I am a fucking package. What in the world, what in the hell is there for me to be insecure about? Honestly, truly. Look at me. <sighs> So the insecure, and, and she knows that the, and I think it drives any woman or anyone crazy when, to be called insecure. Even if you are insecure, that is just the worst thing to be told. That is the worst thing to, especially in the argument, it just boils your blood. And like, comment down below because I'm, I'm telling y'all, that is one of the things that I just, anytime she's in my face and she, she does that, it sets me the fuck off. Don't sit here and say I'm insecure because you're doing things to make me mad that I have every right to be mad about. So for therefore, you want to sit here and call me insecure? Absolutely not. You're just a narcissist. You're a psycho that you think you're going to flip the words and, and make it to where it fits your, where it fits you to make you seem like you have the upper hand in an argument or a conversation. That's the truth about that. So once again, being a narcissist, once again, 
stating things that don't make any fucking sense. You're like the Tweety Bird over there who don't make any sense in a fucking video. You guys, I told you I was going to do my composure today. I can't promise this. I really can't. I can't. It's just in me. I can't. You know, I don't even do all that sweet shit talking and etc. But for you, I'm so... For you, I am. So whatever you going online doing all that nonsense when daddy love you is crashed out. You know you my baby. I said, Laura, please learn how to fuck a spell. Please stop texting me. I already told you I'm done. You have embarrassed me. You made me feel so worthless, ugly, and depressed. You don't understand. Your words really hurt me. I'm pregnant and sensitive, and I don't think you understand how that makes me feel. You don't want a perfect family. You can't help but to cheat and be a narcissist. You should seek a fucking therapist or someone to help you because I promise you, I can see that even if you wanted to stop cheating you and get better, you can't. You're a piece of trash. Mm, see now you acting out and i'm not a cheater i never cheated on you i just be chilling is two different things can nobody compare to you i love you and the things you saying i'm not even paying attention because i don't want to hear that that's what a narcissist does bitches that's what a narcissist does you want to sit here and you say you don't want to hear what i'm saying because what i'm saying is facts you don't want to hear what i'm saying because what i'm saying is factual you don't want to hear because it's not exactly what you want to hear because you're a fucking narcissist and you can't fucking stop cheating to save your life is that why is that why because, like I said, at this point, you're like the Tweety Bird who kept repeating herself. Like, 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 and, and, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. All you keep saying is, I love you, I love you, I want my family, and I'm a narcissist, and I'm not going to stop cheating. So, therefore, I'm going to block you, and if I don't block you, then you're still going to find a way to message me, and you're still going to say the same song. Make it make sense. It doesn't, and it never did. And, therefore, is the same reason why I'm telling you, leave me alone. But you don't know how to do that, because you're psyched. Psychotic. She's psycho. Like, people wanted to put me out to be this whole psycho woman in love, this and that. No. In reality, who's a psycho? Who's a psycho? I'm not acting out no more. I'm not doing none of that foolishness, embarrassment. She's still behind closed doors, want to act like everything that I brought to the light in the past two days is irrelevant. And you think that I'm going to sit down and have a conversation with you? And act like nothing happened. Act like, oh, I can't see. I'm blind. Blind. No, bitch. That's not what's going to fucking happen. Like, no. Be fucking for real. You know, I hate hearing these things. I don't want to hear you. So, I'm going to discard everything you said. Disregard it. <laughs> bitch, because it's been through this year, not the other. I'm done with you. Done with you. Anyways, baby, what do you want to eat later? I'm going to cook for you, my queen. I said, this is the problem. You run away from your problems and you never want to sit down and communicate. AKA the last, what I've been saying for the last whole of my video. This proves my point. I'm trying to tell y'all. I try so hard to accept all the things you do and be the best woman for you, but you can't accept it. You're too fucked up of a person to understand. Please leave me alone and stay the fuck away. And I went parentheses the fuck because this is your language. You speak like this. So maybe if I talk to you in your illiterate ass fucking way, then you'll understand what I'm saying. Comprende? Ho? From me? Oh, and you should really learn how to spell because ill. Ill. Then she said, I ain't run for none. I just think what you're talking about is stupid. I love you and you love me. Now, babe, back to what I was saying. Saying with the S-A-Y-E-N. What you want for dinner? Call me, answer the phone, answer the fuck wrong with you. I'm trying to call you and you're tripping. Don't send me voicemail. And after that, y'all, and I will put the message right here so y'all can read it off for yourselves. I flipped the fuck out. When I tell you, bitch, I, I gave her a phone call and cursed her the fuck out to where she ain't even call me back. She, she left me alone for the night for, for shit show. And I really should have recorded, but being in a hit in the moment, I'm not going to sit there and grab my phone and record and do no, no, no. I let loose. I let loose and I said everything from point A to point Z and I got everything off of my chest, which is probably why I didn't feel the need to run and do all of this and 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 and, and, fi and film a video and then lose myself again. Because when I tell you I lost my brain cells and I lost everything that I stand for in um, the whole conversation on the phone, sure did. Sure did. And if you're a Latina or if you just... In a situation where you just get mad every other day and you holding stuff in and everything just comes out, then you know exactly how that conversation went. You know exactly how my tone of voice went. You know exactly what words came out of my mouth. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. And another thing that I wanted to do um, at the end of my video is just prove my point. I'm not the type of woman to come on here, bash, speak, 
the truth, which is negative because at this point, all of this stuff is negative. I'm not doing this just to come on here and speak negative about my baby mama. Um, because you calling me a baby mama, but shorty, so are you. So for therefore, my baby mama. Uh, so I wanted to shed light to the source of the problem. But with that being said, I can always show receipts. I can always sit here and speak about it. But there's nothing like an old fashioned phone call. There is nothing like an old fashioned um, giving, giving it to you guys fresh coming from the source itself. So with that being said, I'm just going to let the phone call close out my video and do its works for itself. Let's see. And this is just another form of proving my point on everything. So this is my third time calling and no answer. I'm gonna call one more time. But if there's no response, I'm not gonna keep on calling, that's fine. I, okay, decline my call. That's perfectly fine. The declinement of the last call, at first I thought maybe she's hung up in a tree somewhere, drunk. Um, but she just declined my last call, which is perfectly fine. Um, nobody wanted to speak to you because if you watch my video, I don't want you to get excited, get happy because you thought I was calling you. That's not the case. Absolutely not. I just wanted to show you guys what a phone call with this woman is like. I wanted you guys to see it firsthand. Um, not just hearing it from my voice and you, anyone thinking or her trying to say that I'm making her look bad. No. Firsthand. Yes, I can have messages. Yes, I can have voicemails. But having it first can on, firsthand on a fresh call. Would have just put the cherry on top to my whole discussion. I'm going to leave my video at that. Um, the next time that she decides to call, I'm not answering. I have nothing to say. I have nothing nice to say. And quite frankly, I just actually don't have anything to say to a low-life narcissist who gave up everything um, for their family. You gave up everything for your family. You are a narcissist, a cheater, a liar. Um, the list goes on and on, you guys. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been oh so sweet to me, keeping me strong, keeping me going in the right path. And I just hope that this video clarifies any doubts that any woman out there might have about how I'm handling my situation. I want it to be a reminder to all the women out there to continue to stand up for yourself, stay strong, and don't don't allow no... Uh, don't allow no baby mama to make you feel like you're nothing because you're everything. You're everything. You're the prize. And make them regret what they did. Make them regret their decisions in life. And, you know, maybe they might not come around now, but I promise you. I promise you they will. So that is the closing off of my video. And I'm going to leave it at this. Laura, if you watch my fucking video, you're a bitch. And if you open your mouth, you disrespect me. If you do anything like that, after I've stated that I want nothing to do with you, I've stated my peace from you, I will fucking come for you. So let your mistress know too. Let everybody know who decides to speak on me, if they have the courage. And okay, you guys, I'm gonna leave my video here at that. Boss babes, I'm a boss bitch checking out. I love you guys. And if you have any questions, any concerns, anything, message me. I love you. I'm also still doing my cameos for you guys. The pregnancy is going great. Let me know if you guys want updates on anything else. But yeah, this is to clarify and shed light on the main source of the problem. And like I said, I'm minding my business. I'm staying in my lane. I am being a boss bitch, boss babe baddie queen the queen that i always knew that i was and absolutely will not be taking shit or garbage from the garbage itself laura naja